Hello everyone, welcome back to another mathematical GIS lecture video. And in this lecture video, I want to go through an example of the conformal transverse cylindrical projection and the equidistant transverse cylindrical projection. And specifically, we're going to look at the city of Rome. And so the question says, Rome, Italy lies at about 42 degrees north and 13 degrees east. And we need to calculate the easting and northing of the equidistant transverse projection and the conformal transverse projection. And we're assuming here that we have been given our central meridian. Our central meridian in this case is going to be 10 degrees east. And our reference sphere, so the radius, is going to be the radius of the Earth, 3,959 miles. So the first thing we need to do anytime we see transverse in our transverse cylindrical, is we need to figure out our alpha and our theta p, or our latitude of p. So we know that our alpha is always going to be equal to the um, arc sine of the cosine of the latitude of A, which we were given, times the sine of, in this case, we're going to have the latitude of our meridian minus the latitude of our um, point that we're given. Okay. So this is the value for A. So if we plug in some values here, this is going to be the arc sine of the cosine of the um, latitude is going to be 42 degrees times the sine. And in this case, the sine of our um, meridian here is 10. And the sine of our angle here is 13. Okay, so if we pull out our calculator here and we run through those quick equations, if we do the, if we do put our calculator in degrees, because right now we're working in degrees, if we do 42 cosine, not cosecant, if we do 42 cosine, That's going to be roughly 0.743. And then we have the sine of negative 3, because 10 minus 3 is negative 3. So if we do 3 negative, and then we take the sine of that, it's negative 0.052. Okay, so if we multiply those two together, so if we go to here, multiply those two together, we'll actually multiply by 0.743, okay, so this is the value that we're going to feed into arc sine. I'm going to want to switch to the radians so we can get the value back in radians, and we're going to do control. S for arc sine. So our arc sine is going to be negative 0.039. Negative 0.039 for alpha. Okay. What about theta p? What about our lat latitude of p? Well, our latitude of p is going to be arctan of the tangent of A, of the latitude of A, times the secant of the differences in the meridians. So this is coming from the previous video, so if you can't read these equations or you're confused where they came from, right, these come from that the previous video where we introduced um, alpha and theta p. 
So let's go ahead and put some values into here. Well, we already know that the arctan of the tangent, the latitude of A is going to be 42 degrees. And then the secant of, again, 10 minus 13. So if we bring up our calculator, we clear that out. Because we're working in degrees, I want to switch back to degrees. The tangent of 42 is going to be 0.9. So it's the secant of negative 3. 3, negative, and we're going to take the secant of that. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by the 0.9 that we got for the tangent, and that's going to give us 0.9 as well. So this is going to be the arctan 0.9. So now we're going to want to switch this back to um, radians because we want to get the value back in radians, and we're going to do shift t to calculate the inverse or the arc tangent and the value here is going to be 0.733 okay so now we have alpha and we have theta p so now we actually can go back to our original question here and calculate well what is the equidistance let's do equidistant first The equidistant projection, that's easting, is going to be equal to r times alpha, and the northing is going to be equal to r times theta p. So our easting is going to be equal to 3,959 times negative 0 0.039. So if we pull out our calculator again, we delete our previous work here, and we go 3959 times 0 0.039 negative equals negative 154.4, so negative 154 miles. And then n theta p is going to be equal to 3959 times our theta p is 0.733. And again, this is the value of the latitude of p in radians. So if we do the math on that one, right, we use 3959 times 0.733. We get 2,902 miles. Um, actually, I just realized a mistake. This should be theta A minus theta M in both these cases. Theta A minus theta M. The only thing it changes is that this should be positive, not negative. So this would be positive 154 miles, not negative. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and quickly power through and talk about the, um, the conformal projection. So let's scroll down just a little bit. Let's quickly do the conformal projection. The conformal projection. Okay. So we know from the previous video that the, conf that the conformal projection, the, no the northing, is going to be that r theta p. So we don't actually have to recalculate that because we know that's going to be 2,902 miles. Right? That's the exact same thing. But this easting is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and take a look at the easting. 
So the easting, as we looked at before, is equal to r, so that's the radius of the reference globe, times the natural log of the secant of alpha. Let me see if I can make my alpha look a little bit better here. Times the secant. I struggle with alpha. Times the secant of alpha plus the tangent of alpha. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some real numbers into this. R is going to be this 3959 times the natural log of the secant. Our alpha value was this um, 0 0.039. Again, because I made a mistake here, it should have been m minus um, a minus m. So this is actually positive uh, 0 0.039. 0 0.039 times the tangent plus the tangent of the same thing, 0 0.039. Scroll down just a little bit to give ourselves some room here. We are going to be working in radians. Which, I need to find my calculator. Calculator, okay. So, let's start with making sure we're in radians, which we are clear out our previous work, 0 0.039 in radians. We want the secant first, which is basically going to be 1. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and write that down. It's going to be 1. Really easy to remember, but just in case we forget. And then we will do the exact same thing here. We'll delete that, 0 0.039, and we will take the tangent and we will add 1 to that. 1.039, we can take the natural log of that. And then if we take the natural log, multiply that by our 3959, and we get 151. Just double check that we did that correctly. Yep, 151. Okay, so you can see that in this case we have a slight difference in the easting, 154 compared to 151. So hopefully that made sense. I know there's a lot going on here. I encourage you to pause the video, go back, rewatch any parts you're confused about, and as always, please reach out. Thank you.